In today's Madden 21 tip video, I'm going to be teaching you how to beat man coverage in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and my channel is devoted to helping you improve your game in Madden. If that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to go ahead and click subscribe, turn on notifications, but also one of the things that I want to ask you to do and really, really important is I want you to join my community Discord, which is in the link of this description. The Discord is a great place where you can chat, um, you can get your questions answered, you can meet new people to lab with. It's really a great community and again, there's a saying that goes, you are the average of the five people you associate with most and so that discord is a great place to be able to meet some really really cool people learn a little bit about Madden as well and we do release exclusive tips and strategies to our discord members all right guys so man coverage is an issue right man coverage if you haven't if you haven't played Madden 21 yet what you're gonna find when you do play the game is man coverage is really really difficult to um, beat consist at least consistently with when the corners are just better than your receivers right um, so I'm the Packers here I'm going up against the Patriots and what we've done basically is we've matched everything up but people are doing this cover one and they're coming out in either um, either dime 146 or uh, you know it, it doesn't really matter right cover one cover two man it's all kind of the same at least the way it plays um, in my personal opinion, I think cover one's a little bit better, but you're seeing a lot of people coming out in this type of defense. And basically what they're going to do is they're going to use her the middle of the field. I'll show you really quick. One of the other things that they're doing, I mean, I'm doing this as well, right? Um, they're dropping their zones off 20 yards each, and then they've got them matched up in man alignment to buy speed on your coaching adjustments. Okay, so this is going to make your man coverage play really 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 good so cover one robber is the is the base defense now i'm in the arizona cardinals playbook and if you want to really take your game to the next level you can pick up my madden 21 competitive bundle guide where i give you my full defensive ebook and my full offensive ebook for 25 dollars one-time fee uh, again that is in the description of this video and again guys we're going to be updating that guide uh, for a little while out after madden 21 is released so it's going to be the latest and greatest material now and it doesn't matter what spread play you use i come out in curl wheel every play that's my base play um i'm gonna go over a, a really simple concept to beat man-to-man -man coverage really quick but let's just jump in here so so curl wheel again it doesn't matter what what it doesn't really matter what you do i like to have some type of backbreaker route on the back end so it could be this um it could be this post route to Devonte adams that's the one that i like because if I've got a one-on-one -on -one with Devontae Adams, right, he's my he's my go-to receiver. And again, I love Aaron Rodgers this year. I think Aaron Rodgers is the best quarterback in the game because of his pass lead ability, the way he can put the ball just anywhere on the field. But what they're doing is they're basically coming out, they're putting their safeties into purples, they're shading their coverages, and sometimes they press, sometimes they don't. It just depends. I think it actually works better if you don't press. And then they're going to use her, this guy. And so what I'm going to do is just throw him in a three rep or um, – I'm just going to use her in a QB spy here. But essentially what's going to happen, and you'll see this really quickly, um, you'll see if they have better guys than you, it's difficult to throw stuff. You're seeing you're getting a lot of that right there, a lot of catch tackles. You can't like, – routes just aren't getting open. So this is a simple tip that you can use to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. All you're going to do, literally all you're going to do, is you're going to run a couple of key hot routes in your arsenal. What I like to do from spread, because these two guys are off the line of scrimmage, I think it works a little bit better with them off the line of scrimmage. Essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run double zigs, right? Double zigs, and I'm gonna show you, and again, you could take Jones and put him on a wheel route if you want to. If you are worried about pressure, you could put him on a, on a, uh, a pass block. It doesn't really matter, right? Was the double zigs are what I'm going to focus on here for just a second. And I'm just going to show this to you, and then we'll go into instant replay, and we'll talk about why it works. Right there. So what I did basically is I'm snap throwing the zigs. Now, you can make a quick read. Because of the user, because of the issue that people are having this year with usering, it's difficult to stop these zig routes. Because you see here, you see how the game is basically automatically programmed this corner is already jumping to the outside. It leaves a little window right here where he hitches up where you can throw that ball. Very, very simple. And again, I can do this very, very consistently. Let me show you this again. Again, these guys are in cover one press. So you're gonna see right when I snap the ball, and these are, you know, these are, 
you know, you've got the Patriots defense, and I'm going to throw it to my tight end here on the left. Watch. Whoops. I guess that's why you don't want to put the running back on a route. So we'll leave the running back in. But basically, these double zigs, you're going to see um, the cloud flats, or I'm sorry, the curl flats that they're going to put those guys on, the zone drops, they're not, I'm not too worried about that. Whoops. But you'll see, you'll see, depending on which side. Now again, whoops, I think I accidentally called the wrong play. Another thing you can do is you can low, um, you can throw these uh, curl routes, and I'll talk about that in just a second. I do want to show you this devil's egg. Whoops. So this curl route on the left side, it's curl wheel from, from the Arizona book. It does beat man to man. The pass lead is really important. You want to pass lead it down and away um, because, again, that's where the leverage is on the play. But watch the tight end here. See how he gets absolutely boxed? So one of the things that you can do to help it is the press is the issue, right? So getting him off the jam. So if we motion him to the right, you see he's going to come into a tight end position. And now, whoops, accidentally forgot. That's why I love this uh, spread wide slot. You see you got the zig on both sides. But if you put him on a zig, when you motion him, he's not going to change. So I put him on a zig here. I'm going to bring him in. And you see here, here he's on a zig. Snap of the ball. He's a man-to-man. -man, and then I get that outside release. And I'm able to get a couple quick four or five yards. One other concept that I did want to mention to you really quickly here is you can double drag and the double drag is going to create a nice little mesh play and again i love low ball and things this year i think low ball is where it's at at least on the underneath game but you can run those pretty consistently now if i motion him in i can get that um get him it tight in here as well and run the zig concept on that side but you see press is really the issue when you get him off the press you're good to go at least on the zig routes the underneath breaking routes let me show you one other thing on the curl wheel play. So this is specific to Arizona's book. But this route curl wheel on the left side, basically what you're gonna have, you got the double zigs, right? I personally still like to put um, Aaron Jones on a wheel route. And typically what I'll end up doing with this play probably because of what we just saw is motion to Sternberg into the tight end position. But I'm going to read my double zigs. If those don't beat man, then I've got this throw. And again, it's a low ball pass lead. You got Stefan. Dil Dil I have Stefan Gilmore on uh, St. Brown, which St. Brown is like a no a no name on the Packers, in my opinion. He's got like 90 speed, but that's it. You know, he's going up against one of the best man to man corners in in Madden and in real life. And you see, he's able to beat it. And that's with. Because it's a specific type of curl route, that's what I want to focus in on here for just a second. Because it's a, a specific type of curl route, he's able to, to get underneath the clouds. Those zone drops that they've got him on, he's good. And again, when you when you throw the ball down and away past leads, you want to click on and you want to kind of position him, kind of finagle him a little bit in to make a catch. That's going to help you a lot against man-to-man. -man. So then what we've got, if all of that takes place... What they're going to start doing is they're going to stop dropping their they're going to start dropping their user really to take away either the zigs or the curl, and so you'll see here we're just going to step up in the pocket, step up in the pocket, and now this post route right here to Devonte Adams is wide open. Now you do want to have a good receiver, good route running to run that, but that is going to be very effective for you. Heck, even if you run this route here to start Steinberger, curl routes this year are just so effective, and so um, again one of the one of my favorite plays from the from the uh, first early on here is fade stops because the curl routes do such a good job against these um, these good zone coverages but you see here it used to be able to throw this wheel route and you can't anymore you can't even you can't throw that anymore against man to man so man is a little bit of an issue early on these are some simple principles that are going to help you beat man to man again you know if you have a little bit of a better tight end here you know again there's a significant mismatch with tight end right here and so he's able to just take him away but you see here even even though even though um he's taken away i can still kind of fit this in outside pass lead didn't get out there quite enough but i can still get that in also one other thing i did want to say before we take off if you really want to beat man to man and you're having issues double hitch these outside guys throw them quick double hitches from spread are a pain to stop so you've got hitches You've got zigs, 
you've got drags. The underneath game this year is where it's at if you really, really want to be, um, in my opinion, above the line and above the curve uh, early on in Madden. These hitches, in combination with the zigs, in combination with the drags, really forces them to put themselves in a bind underneath. So those are some man-beating uh, concepts, man-beating principles for you early on in the year, and I'm going to have more coming to you uh, later. Thank you for watching, guys. Be sure to jump in the Discord if you haven't already. That's the best place to stay up to date. I stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern. There's going to be a couple videos that come up in the screen here. If you want to learn how to have the best defense and the best offense in Madden 21, click these videos. I also created a playlist for you that's going to kind of compile some of these videos together so that you can be more effective in Madden. We'll see you guys in the next video or we'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time on my live stream.